That's right, we are looking at the number one player in the world on defense and sharing his base link with the world in today's episode. Welcome once again, my friends, my fam, my fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and it is true. We've got Boom. He was kind enough to share his Legend League base that he was using just yesterday. Of course, you guys know that these Legend League players, in order to compete at the very, very top of the leaderboards, they must be re-engineering, changing their designs on a daily basis. So although Boom is obviously no longer using this base, the rest of us could probably have extreme success at lower levels from the same design. So if you would like to copy the link to this base, all you need to do is join my Discord server. That's right, discord.gg slash Galadon Gaming is where this base will be posted. And that's it, it's easy enough. Also, there's tons of amazing bases over there for many different town hall levels, from farming to trophy hunting to just cool looking bases and weird bizarre designs yes it's all there on my discord so make sure you check that out also of course you can always subscribe to the channel turn on notifications leave a like or even a comment if you would be so kind and while i'm selling stuff don't forget creator code galadon that's right it is what keeps the lights on around here keeps the internet connected and the videos coming almost every single day using galadon as your creator code before you make a purchase in any supercell game is sincerely appreciated but even more importantly just make sure you're using somebody's creator code it is free money from supercell given away to hardworking content creators and it doesn't cost you a penny okay so now we are going to watch Boom Space get absolutely annihilated, but not three-starred in these first couple of attacks. And then watch for the last attack of the video because Boom is going to get a rare unicorn of a defense over there. But yes, okay, so the fundamentals of a base like this. Obviously, there's a lot that goes into designing it. You can see that Boom has gone with a ring style for right now. He's gone with the Inferno Towers on multiple settings, meaning not all on single or on multi. And that really right now is a wide variance, meaning you're not going to see consistently every single Legend League base have all multis or all singles. It just makes sense that way. You never know what's coming at you and there may be a meta but there are going to be tons of players, including many that are right up at the top that are anti-meta, meaning they're using ground or they're using, like you see right here, hog riders. So you can't be prepared for every single attack, but you can try to develop a base that has the least amount of weaknesses. And I'll tell you right now, personally, between you and I, the shadow scenery in and of itself is a defense mechanism because it actually makes it a little bit difficult to see where buildings have and have not been destroyed and I don't know, I found it distracting. I'm not a fan of it when I'm on attack. When I'm on defense, hey, I think it looks great on the home village, but I would not want to be attacking every single base with this scenery. So there it is, 81% two star. Believe it or not, this is a pretty good defense. Only losing 26 trophies on average is every top 10 legend player's dream. I've noticed by watching the conversation in Tribe that any of these guys that are pushing trophies hard right now are upset if they're below 300 trophies in eight attacks. If you get 300 points in eight attacks, you're averaging 37.5 trophies per attack. That's a lot of three stars. So yes, it is extremely difficult to push higher once you're up here unless you've got something going for you like friends or an amazing base that defends really, really well. And I don't think Boom necessarily has either one of those. So he needs, okay, no, he has friends. I'm just saying the whole, you know what I meant, okay. And then his base obviously is not this miraculous, oh, everybody's failing against it type thing because offense is just that strong. So Boom, what he has going for him more than anything else is attacking skill. Now his base designs are good and obviously we are lucky that we're able to share this one with you guys. It's just, we're going to put it on Discord. So it's a little bit harder to get to. And this simply means that fewer players will be using it. I'm actually doing you a favor by making it an extra step to get there. And players that really sincerely care about copying this base will pop on over and grab it. And that is actually good because those of you that are know that you're getting a base 
that has more value than one that is just sitting out there on a link in a video that every Tom, Dick, and Skeleton Larry can copy. So, you know, there's some value to be had right there, I think. And yes, I know, everybody wants everything handed to them. They don't want to make any effort, but hey, here you go. If you're willing to make a little tiny bit of extra effort, you might even find a cool community that talks about Clash, that kind of has replaced Global with a Global of our own, a great place to recruit players and to find a clan. Okay, so yes, Boom is not going to have an extreme amount of success defending against, as you can see, a variety of attacks with this base. But then again, like I said, these are the best players in the world up here. Many of these players that are attacking Boom are top 10 players as well. They're professional esports team members, and they're not going to be the same type of player that you and I face at even 5,500 or 5,400 trophies late in the season. That's nothing compared to where these guys are soaring in the stratosphere far above 6,000 trophies. Now, as far as what makes this base more successful than other bases, I honestly can't tell you. I can't go into detail about it because I don't know enough about base building and I don't have the time to sit down and pick Boom's brain for a couple hours to figure out all of the little tips and tricks. But yeah, the link is out there if you guys want to copy it. And fundamentally, one of the most important features of any Legend League base that is going to successfully defend attacks is originality meaning you need a base that is different than others because there are certain bases out there, once they become popular, they become easy targets for players who know exactly how to hit said base. So sometimes even moving things around a bit for a couple of days is going to make a difference. Changing settings on Expos, Inferno Towers, Clan Castle, Defenses, that's one we see a lot of. Sometimes you'll see Headhunters in there on defense, Lava Hounds, the occasional Super Minion, which I absolutely hate, but these players know how to handle and take out each and every one of those defenses. And uh, yeah, almost every single, actually all of the defenses of Boom's base got wiped out that time, 98%. But look at the trophies. 32. Remember, if you're getting above 300 trophies a day, you're averaging 37 and a half trophies. So believe it or not, that is a successful defense. Only 98% because, you know, three stars is what every top Legend League player is aiming for on every single attack. Now, this is the rare unicorn of a defense by Boom, and you will watch this mass hog rider attack go wrong, perhaps in the first 10 seconds because the blimp drops in an area next to a lot of high value defenses, right? You had the Warden statue, Inferno Tower, Expo. I don't know if it was trying to get to the Town Hall enclosure, but if it wasn't, this is a good funnel. You can see it got pretty good value right here. The Wizards are gonna get annihilated by that scatter shot, and that bottom Expo is going to get repaired pretty quickly. We're unable to get into ET's mind, so I don't know what the assignment was as far as who was planning on taking out the Town Hall, but let's just watch as the attack unfolds. You can see the Lava Hound has come down to the bottom of the screen where the Archer Queen is going to start working on it, taking it out with a poison spell. On the right-hand side, that's more funneling from the balloons and the Baby Dragon, making sure that the Archer Queen moves in a clockwise direction. Also notice, we talked about this in the last video with Boom, and that is players using Sui Heroes and how questionable it can be in Legend League. Now we can see why. No healers to keep this Archer Queen up. Is she going to have the hit points to make it all the way to the core and take out the Town Hall? That's the part that had me kind of wondering right here because you'll notice there's nothing funneling the heroes on their left-hand side. They are just likely to continue clockwise and not head after the Town Hall. Maybe the Hog Riders will, so we just wait and think, okay, perhaps the Hog Riders are going to move in around nine o'clock on the base, and that will be what turns the heroes towards the core. Also, here comes the Royal Champion. Maybe she's gonna go take out the Town Hall, but that is a tall order as well with all of those other defenses and those two scatter shots in the way. So yes, okay, so here come the Hog Riders from the left-hand side. There's your heal spell. You can see the Archer Queen trying to survive through the single target Inferno. They are eventually going to get it down. The Royal Champion, however, gets annihilated in the core and is really not going to get much value at all on the Town Hall. And now the Archer Queen has gone left. She has not been funneled in after the Town Hall either. And you can kind of get an idea 
of where this attack is headed. It is every Legend League player, not just top Legend League players, but all of them, including myself, fear the idea of not getting the Town Hall down. And right here, you have to know that ET was not feeling great about this attack, kind of hoping maybe everybody would make a right-hand turn and go back into the core. It's not going to happen. And this is huge. I mean, this is a big development. Watch the trophy count at the end. Boom, gonna be super excited to pick up a one star at number one in the world. This is going to help out things a lot. The skeleton spell tries in desperation. The hog riders are just not healthy enough to get the job done. And no, the barbarian king on defense as well. That town hall not even really close to going down. And as time counts down on this attack, Boom had to be happy to be logging on to an 87% one-star defense. And yes, that meant that Boom lost only 14 trophies. That is going to be a big bump to help keep him at number one. Thank you guys again for checking out the video and sticking around all the way to the end. Make sure you check out the Discord link. Come to my live streams. Get out there and make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Gary Don, I'm a moderator in your Discord. I'll kick them out if they're bad.